Police are on the hunt for criminals who jumped through a skylight at a Montcalm County school and then started spray painting all over the place. Uh, but this might not be the most difficult case to crack. Take a look at this. The culprits left behind several clues, including some names. 24 Hour News 8 Steve Kelso went to Vestaberg to survey the cleanup. Police aren't sure exactly how many came in here, but now they're pretty sure they came in through this skylight. They took something like a cinder block, busted their way through into the um, interior of the school, and then started spray painting, causing a lot of damages. Uh, it's a kindergarten classroom. Somehow appropriate when you consider the childish nature of this crime. And this? Well, police won't confirm it, but you can bet they want to talk to Trent S. and Jason M. It wasn't the smartest crime in the world. But it sure was expensive. But my guess is going to be between ten and twenty thousand dollars by the time we get done. It looks like at some point the vandals ran out of spray paint, so they turned to the fire extinguishers. What they had no way of knowing was that the dust from fire extinguishers will very often set off the fire alarms. And once the alarms going off, they decided it was time for them to leave. The dust also provided police with some very nice shoe prints to work with. And I think what's going to happen is you're going to see these kids are going to talk to somebody and before you know it, I'll have a phone call on my office and they'll tell me exactly who did it. It'll, it'll happen within the next few days, I'm guessing. In Vestaberg, Steve Kelso, 24-Hour News 8.